Hey there Virgo, welcome to my channel Serious About Stars. My name is Jay, I'm an astrologer and intuitive channeler. This video here is your timeless reading. Um, in this reading, I have meditated on your energy, so I'm going to share first with you some uh, just intuitive downloads that I felt or saw or heard for you. And then I did pre-pull some cards as well. I'll share those with you. And then at the end, um, we will pull some cards live and on camera for you. Um, all right, but real quickly before we get into the energy, I would like to remind you to give this video a thumbs up if you finding your, uh, yourself enjoying what I have to share with you and subscribe to the channel, Serious About Stars. Um, but Virgo, so when I meditated on your energy, the first thing I saw was just um, this, this feeling of um, this being in the dark um, and looking around kind of frantically um, 360 degrees, like all these different ways and not knowing which way to go, not knowing which way to go and maybe even feeling lost, um, feeling lost, not knowing which way to go. I get the sense too of um, um, this is about which way is home which way is home and maybe you don't inherently, maybe you're not necessarily searching for home, you're searching of which way to go. Um, but but really this could really be about um, going home, where is home and home might not always be like a physical place, it might not be a house, it could be, um, it could be within yourself. You could be your own home. This could be about finding yourself. It could be about relationships that are near and dear to your heart. Um, friendships or love relationships. It could be family. It could be your family. Um, whatever it is for you, this could be what it's really coming down to. In Virgo, um, when you, I, I got this this image of um, you know being in the dark and not knowing which way to go, and there being this 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 fear. Um, this also this this urgency of where to go and of feeling out of time too. There would be these moments of of peace and light and warmth and and ease even, and it'd be like whoa, where'd that come from? Or, um, and then that becoming more and more, you know, leaving this this fear and this lost feeling and not knowing where to go and this being lost and entering this this peace and this acceptance this acceptance is huge um and then for some of you i did feel actually this almost like rejecting this peace rejecting this light rejecting this warmth because someone might be thinking that they um this is too urgent they're not allowed to feel this because they haven't done this yet or they haven't gotten here yet they can't take it easy because they need to be hard on themselves um but virgo part of this part of this this peace and this light and this warmth is going to bring you the clarity to to um know which way to go to know which way to go to find your way home to find your way this peace, this ease is necessary. It is necessary. Um, yeah, something also about passion and purpose. Uh, this could also be a lot about passion and purpose, um, finding your passions or pursuing your passions and that being your purpose. Um, okay, so we'll get into the cards here. So I did pre-pull some um, cards for underlying themes, um, kind of just coming up beneath the surface. The first card that came out was happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on my right path. Oh, I think I forgot to say in the beginning of the reading, um, take only what resonates here, leave the rest. Um, even in like the um, downloads in the beginning from the meditation, take only what resonates. Don't force something to fit that doesn't inherently fit. So, you know, from this part on, take only what resonates. Um, abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Virgo, you got this. 
You got this. Stay on your path. Stay on your path. Um, I don't know. As long as you go within and you 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 listen to your your inner voice, your angels, to God, the universe, whatever it is for you, you won't be led astray here. Um, it'll. Every, you might not be able to see like the entire road out, but you'll be able to see just enough and just enough and just enough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I felt the need to say that. <laughs> um, I did also pull a card for um, an angel message from your angels. My intention here is to channel um, directly from your angels for you. And the card that came out was number 10, Higher Thought. And the message, I'll read it for you. Sometimes in moments of darkness and despair, all it takes to feel better is a decision to lift out, to lift our thoughts to a higher, more positive place. Simple actions like seeking the company of an old friend or taking a walk in nature can often help to move us out of a negative perspective giving us a new vantage point from which to view the current situation. And you can say to yourself if you'd like, with my will to work in the light, I lift up my thoughts to God and the beauty and simplicity everywhere around me. I accept, I let go, and I welcome the opportunity to discover the positive side of every situation. All right, and Virgo, I did um, pull a card, um, a few cards from a couple different decks. Um, well, one from this deck here. Um, for relationships, um, a little bit of insight to your love life at this time. Now, I usually get like two or three cards from this one, but only one came out. Only one wanted to come out. There was only one card here. Something about there being one. I don't know. Think about one here, um, but loyal heart, loyal heart. I love this for you, Virgo. Um, I think it's interesting too, if you can like kind of see how like the, the owls aren't facing each other, like their bodies are turned. So you might not like, I don't know, there might be someone that like, you're not necessarily in like a relationship with. Um, but you are turning towards each other. I don't know, something about turning towards each other and there being this, this eye contact, this recognition, this returning, this returning energy. Um, I don't know, the crowns, like king and queen. I don't know what this is necessarily, but I don't know, I get this really beautiful like rediscovery of, of, of love um, somehow here for you. Um, Oh, beautiful energy though this um also you know the hearts this being a heart here and then creating a heart here number 35 of the number 35 speaks to you in some way shape or form um but yeah beautiful energy very home like energy i'm reading the essence of home which is interesting because in your meditation home being something so yeah um beautiful there okay I pulled some cards too from the romance angels for a little bit of extra insight whether it be to this same relationship or other relationships um friendships um you know take it as it resonates there's all kinds of relationships we have we have relationships with our family members we've got you know everything every kind of connection there is so i'll kind of go through these take these just kind of as they resonate um, especially if there's like been any like questions on your heart or mind to different, I don't know, relationships, friendships, allow these the cards to kind of speak some kind of confirmation. So I'll go through them. I'll go through them. Um, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i did feel intuitively that this does speak to um certain friendships specifically there could be friendships that are not balanced there's not like an equal give or take um maybe there's like a need to like reassess certain friendships you know be purposeful 
with your friendships. I don't know, something about that. Maybe certain friends aren't true friends or something like that. I don't know. Um, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like if somebody has um, asked like a yes or no question, has been asking a yes or no question in love, yes, yes. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Mm, I love this for you. Love this Virgo. Okay, so now with this part of the reading, I will pull some cards live and on camera for you. So, um, you know, any questions that you still have on your heart or your mind, go ahead and bring those now up to the surface. Um, you can ask them out loud or in your mind, whatever feels right to you. Okay, what was that? Let's pick it up off the ground because they always fly to the ground and in my lap. <laughs> Sorry, six of earth, which is also the six of pentacles. So um, balancing, this is giving and receiving. Giving and receiving. There is balance needed somewhere. If you've asked a yes or no question, there um, balance. There, this needs to be balanced. This is still being balanced, something about that. How, what can you do in, um, I don't know, a situation to get more balance, but this is not something that you'll even have to necessarily try to do. This is something that is going to happen naturally. I, mean, I noticed that there was like this little reflection on my wall under the moon there in the camera and I turned to look and see what it was, but. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm distracted. Um, th th this is happening naturally. This is happening naturally. Um, things are being balanced for you and in your favor here. Okay, what else for Virgo? What else for Virgo? Okay, Page of Earth patience just came out this is also the page of pentacles and the temperance card which is sagittarius energy um interesting it's like there's more there's more to there's more to learn there's more to receive from the space which you're in um or maybe there's somewhere you want to go. There's this new thing you want to do, but there's something about this current experience that you are still in, this place that you are still in. Something about the physical place too is kind of significant for, for somebody maybe or, or some of you. Um, what is there to learn from where you are? There's still something to learn and and refusing to to look at it trying to look out in the future and not acknowledging where you are could delay the very things that you want to happen in your life so uh maybe ground yourself meditate be where you are not where you are not um be where you are to to fully embrace to fully experience um i don't know where you are um, what is going on? Um, cherish where you are. Cherish this 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 present moment with yourself. You are starting a new adventure. You are you are setting out. There are just skills and tools that you are still learning and gathering um, to prepare you for this. Okay, what else for Virgo? Okay, Ace of Fire, which is also the Ace of Wands. So something is happening. Something is is happening. To, is being divinely guided. Um, but I feel that um, this. I don't know. This is just going to happen. This is going to be like a serendipity kind of a moment that is just going to happen. You're not going to have to really do anything. I feel like to make it happen. It's just going to happen for you something is going to happen for you in your favor it is coming to you something is coming to you i don't know um, i feel like this could be an offer or an opportunity um i don't know this could also be romantic <laughs> um okay what else came out oh wow 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 okay 
the Fool card and Transformation. This is also um, well, the Fool card and um, the Death card. So this is like, wow, okay. This is like a complete transformation, a complete rebirth. I feel that now for a lot of you, this is like a very personal like um, transformation that you could be going through. And then for some of you, this is like a situation transforming. Um, this for some of you this could be about about a job like a job like ending and a new beginning being forged a new beginning like this this page of pentacles you know this this um fresh new start this this new lens is starting from scratch but when you start something from scratch you have the ability to make it yours make it what you want you don't have to kind of pick up where somebody left off you are doing it you are doing it and you are doing it your way. I love that for you. Yeah, some kind of situation, something, something in your life, some area in your life is being completely transformed from the ground up. Something might have to give, something might have to fall or break for this to truly, truly happen. Sometimes like say it's a glass vase, okay, that falls and breaks. Maybe you've been kind of wanting like the, like a new or not that you've been wanting, but maybe you've been needing a new glass face for for some reason. It's more for whether it's, I don't know, whatever it is. You don't really like go out and do it if you still have, you know, this thing that you're still holding on to. But when something breaks, it makes it happen for you. It, it brings into fruition what you truly need, what you truly desire. Um, you might just not even know it yet. You know? Um, okay, what else? What else, Virgo? Okay, that was the King of Water. Mastering your emotions, are you? I feel that somebody is mastering their emotions really, um, really like, um, I don't know, controlling their emotions, this emotional maturity, um, really, really kind of um, coming through. And um, I don't know, I'm getting this like calming the room. I don't know, calming the room. I don't know, maybe somebody is like, uh, like a school teacher and this is about like, I don't know, being able to like, better like control the classroom or like calm the room. I don't know, something about that, having this um, subtle like, I don't know, I, I wanna say power actually. Um, the calming like ability, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like, um, But you had to like do it first for yourself. Like you had to do it first for yourself. Something you're able to do for others now, but you had to do it first for yourself. Why did my light just turn off? I don't know why it just turned off. What? Okay, I can't get it turned back on. I don't know what just happened. I'm sorry. Well, this is what it looks like without my fancy new ring light on. I'm gonna continue with the reading though because I don't I don't I don't I don't wanna start over. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, we're already about 19 minutes anyway. I was trying to keep these now towards like 20 minutes. So we're gonna get one final message for you, Virgo. One final message. Okay, one final message, Virgo. And it's the world card. The world card. Okay. Okay, Virgo. I feel that, you know, something is coming into fruition. Something is coming beautifully into fruition here. Um, and you are ascending. I feel ascension vibes really coming through. Um, this, I feel something opening up your world here, some kind of new opportunity or experience that you've been going through is really, 
really expanding your world, opening your eyes to perceive the world perhaps that is already there in front of you. Um, something about your vision, your eyesight, seeing more, see, being able to see more. Um, and it's, it's like there is more now, but it's like it was always there, but your ability to see and perceive has like skyrocketed and it's beautiful and it is just a blessing i don't know i feel like there is some kind of blessing really kind of coming through for you guys so i love that for you virgo all right we will close the reading there thank you for watching this video do come again to the next reading i will see you guys next time bye virgo